For a nine-year-old, you don't boost their self-esteem by giving them plastic surgery. I, I mean, I, I was just shocked that this even exists. There's no like uh, reasoning there. There's no argument that you can make in favor of that. In this video, I'll be reacting to a video by Vice called Why Kids Are Getting Plastic Surgery in Japan. We're about to go meet a nine-year-old girl who was advised by her mom to get double eyelid surgery. Nine years old? Ooh, the average age of uh, patients who come to see me for cosmetic surgery is about 35. Nine is younger than I've ever heard before. It's a procedure that adds an extra fold in your eyelid to make your eyes look bigger. Yeah, I mean, that, that's problematic on so many different levels. Double eyelid surgery is not uh, terribly uncommon, but usually the person has to be of consentable age. So typically that's 18 years old, and I think it's uh, pretty much close to 18 all around the world. At age nine, person uh, can't really make full decisions for themselves, especially for cosmetic surgery. So uh, I think this is really a problematic trend. So you so you the problem is like the kids at this age they're not um, fully mature yet and not just in terms of their an emotional maturity but also their appearance so sure i mean she's not going to get double eyelid type of appearance uh, later in life however she might uh, reach a point of facial maturity where she begins to find that you know she's happy with her appearance and i don't think anyone should be you know even discussing feeling looking more beautiful at, at this early age so this is really really uh, troublesome and unpleasant for me to even watch <laughs> Japan is ranked fourth in the world for having the most number of plastic surgery procedures. 33-year-old Monoka has had more than 100 surgeries. 100 surgeries? Oh my gosh, oh my god. I wonder how young she was when she started getting all these procedures. Yeah, I mean, people definitely take this too far. <laughs> And I've mentioned this in some prior videos and the point is that when you start uh, early you're just going to be getting overall like much more surgery than if you started later in life so uh, I think when people are starting at like age nine they're of course going to be getting many more procedures over time I'm on a journey to discover why young children are getting double eyelid surgery and how the pursuit of beauty can sometimes lead to a deadly addiction I'm meeting Luchi and Michi, a mother and daughter team that runs a YouTube channel discussing plastic surgery and makeup. Michi recently had the double eyelid procedure. It's illegal for minors in Japan to get plastic surgery as long as the parents consent. Yeah, I, that's that's so bizarre. Um, it's hard to believe, actually, but it, it is what it is. I can't believe they, they have a YouTube channel that talks about plastic surgery. We'll have to check that out. But to be on there and, and essentially doing the surgery, not just obviously for her daughter and for the media people in their circle, but really to try to do it for a wider audience is, is also really messed up. I don't think that plastic surgery should be allowed for minors on the cosmetic end. And of course, if there's an injury or if there's a cancer that gets removed, that's a different story. But to take someone who can't really make fully formed decisions and put them in a position to say like, oh yeah, I want cosmetic surgery, that's, that's really problematic. And even to allow parents to make those decisions for the kids isn't great. No? I think one of the main reasons why this feels really uncomfortable for me is that I don't think kids can understand the downsides, the risks associated with these surgeries. I mean, it's even hard for adults to understand some of these risks, and uh, it's impossible for a nine-year-old to wrap their minds around different complications that can occur as a result of surgery. That's one of the many reasons why this should not be allowed. In 2020, more than 143,000 surgeries were performed on patients' eyes. Of course her life hasn't changed. I mean, no one's looking at a nine-year-old and judging them based on how their eyelids look. It's ridiculous. Her mom is like feeding her, you know, material to believe, to think, and 
It's just twisted. とか美しい人ってどういう人だと思うそういう整形の痛さとかを我慢してそういう。If you can endure the pain of plastic surgery that makes you a beautiful person, weird, bizarre, disturbing. すごいね。<笑>大人な意見だね。<笑> yeah, she said that like in a real adult because that's what she hears her mom talking about at home. But to be honest with you, I mean, people, parents who turn their kids into child models, I think, I think that's also messed up, to be honest with you, because it just puts so much pressure on these young kids and it puts them into sometimes unsafe、uh, scenarios. You know, there are people in those、uh, circles that don't have the best、uh, intentions in mind, and unfortunately, you're exposing your kids to such things at a way too early of an age. Luchi is the mother of five children. Two girls and three boys, one of them severely handicapped. She's convinced that the success of her daughters relies almost exclusively on their looks. If she has like a handicapped kid, doesn't she realize that she should just be thankful for having healthy kids and not try to enhance them at such an early age with plastic surgery? I mean, I don't know, this is really sad. <laughs> This woman grew up、uh, apparently feeling maybe inferior, at least as far as looks go, to her sister. And now she's taking that and、um, you know, influencing her children to want and need plastic surgery at such a young age. It's just wrong. She's like marking her kid's eyelid here with a pen. <laughs> What does that even mean, you know, beauty standard? People look different all around the world, and、uh, to want to look like someone that you're, you're not is, is not great. I would say that there are many different beauty standards around the world, and、uh, trying to conform to one single standard of beauty is really not the best approach. Mitch is a very good thing, but I think that's what I'm saying. These little kids are still, you know, growing and they're maturing. Their faces haven't yet reached any steady state of growth, and their faces haven't yet reached the full state of maturity. So, to do these types of procedures where you're risking infection and scarring and all types of other problems related to their eyes as they grow is really just so wrong. And I'm just shocked that Japan allows this as a country. I mean, they should have more strict rules related to this type of activity, in my opinion. And I've always wanted to go to Japan to visit. Maybe one day when I go there, it'd be fun to meet with some of these people in charge of making these rules and perhaps allow them to see it a little differently than they do. Two hours. So they gave this girl some degree of anesthesia for two hours doing this cosmetic eyelid surgery. You know, what about the potential for functional problems? This little girl, you know, her, her vision is still developing everything. I mean, all of her senses are still developing. And what if you give her a functional eye issue related to the eyelid surgery, which is a potential complication? What then? Two hours. It was horrible. She's crying. You know, they obviously haven't given her enough anesthesia. She's scared. She's only nine. I, I just I can't believe there are surgeons willing to do this. I can't believe there are parents who want their kids subjected to this. And、uh, the fact that this is not underground, it seems, it seems like the, the government at least doesn't object to it and maybe condones it, is all just messed up. According to a study in 2021, Many in Japan get plastic surgery due to peer pressure or influence from family and friends. Many young girls like Michi begin with a small procedure or p u c h i s e k e and in some cases, they gradually increase the number of procedures to become a so called 
plastic surgery cyborg. We're about to meet the plastic surgery influencer Nonoka, who also works as a manager for a hostess bar. That's where girls talk and serve to customers. She spent over 25 million yen on her plastic surgery, but she's far from done. Like Michi, Nonoka first thought of getting plastic surgery at eight years old because she was bullied for her looks at school. So she made her nose smaller at age eight. Totally inappropriate. For women, usually, uh, or for girls rather, um, the nose continues to mature till at least about age 15, 16. So being eight and having surgery is just unsafe for the nose, especially for cosmetic purposes. Even for functional purposes, we usually wait until the person's older. When you have full maturation of the nose, then you can potentially proceed to a procedure. Because if you do it too early, what happens is it can stunt the growth of the facial skeleton, and that can be highly problematic. According to Nonoka, as a hostess, you are the product. She openly advertises that most girls here have had plastic surgery. It's the theme of the bar. But more than a decade ago, when Nonoka had her first procedure at 18, plastic surgery was not yet as accepted in Japanese society, and her mother was strictly against it. So her mom regretted having had her because of her looks. Oh. あの、それはキャバクラのお仕事で結構払ってたんでしょうか。どういうふうに2500円、2000円。私はそうですね、整形がしたくて仕事してた節が。So she's working hard to be able to afford plastic surgery. Yeah, I mean that's probably not the best goal to have in life. 全身も多分あの整形してると思うんですけれども、あの整形してないところってありますかね？胸です。トップ第2鼻ですね。すごくね、腫れて、これ元の顔に戻らないんじゃないかなって。第1、輪郭形成。あの、後悔してる手術とかってあります。骨切りっていうんですかね。骨を切ったり削ったりする手術ですね。あれ
どちらかというとあの動画の韓国系の顔が流行ってたりとかするので目がパッチリしてればしてるほど良かったと思ったんですけど今はやっぱ二重の幅を狭くしてあの目をちっちゃくしたりとかそうするとあの私のこの高くした鼻があの動画になりたいって言ったらまず鼻を低くしようって言われるんですね。So、she's trying to reverse the work that she's already had done to try to fit a new trend and that's Extremely dangerous, and also it creates this、um, unattainable beauty because you know you're constantly trying to chase the next thing, and meanwhile, you're aging. So that just amounts to more and more procedures that increase risk of complications each and every time. So she'll never be happy. She's going to continue to put all of her money into her looks, and、um, it's probably not going to end well. なので19日整形控えてるんですけど鼻を低くしてきます。だ結構その一回やりだすと。無限というか永遠というか。Once you start, you have to continue doing it infinitely until eternity. It's one way to look at it. 続けなきゃいけない理由としては、あの顔が古いって言われます。その八歳、八歳ぐらいの時に初めて鼻の整形をしたいというふうにお伝えしてくれたんですけど、うん、その時できたらやってました。やってました。So she's saying that her rhinoplasty came later, a little later in life. She didn't quite get the rhinoplasty at age eight, it seems. But if she had the opportunity to, she would have, she says. Moms like Ruchi feel plastic surgery is a way to boost self esteem. But she's also faced strong backlash online. ね、yeah, I mean, for a nine year old, you don't boost their self esteem by giving them plastic surgery. I, I mean, I'm just shocked that this even exists. There's no like,、um, reasoning there, there's no argument that you can make in favor of that. そういうコメントを受けたときはどういうお気持ちでした？二重にさせて何が悪いのっていう、さらに可愛くしたいからっていうスキルアップじゃないけど、<笑>ねランクアップ。その若いうちに教える理由は何でしょうか？やっぱり私が十八で整形したんですけど、もっと早くしとけばよかったって思ったんで、小さい時ブスだったよねっていう記憶もなくなるし。小さい時から2人でクリクリして可愛かったねっていう印象がつくんで中途半端な年齢になってさせたらあ整形したねってなるじゃないですか周りも小さい時やらせてた方がもう元々こういう顔だ Yeah except that she's like on YouTube apparently telling people that her daughter had plastic surgery and that she's the one that you know got it for her so of course people are gonna know her story、It、doesn't make any sense いう印象を植え付けさせたかったっていうのもありますねそこ世間に Unfortunately, I think she's going to grow up with a much bigger complex now than she otherwise would have. So now she's saying she's sorry that she made her go through this painful experience. I mean, what did she expect it was going to be like? <laughs> 化粧からまず始まりでただし化粧というのは基本的に一日が終わったら落としてしまうので,でそれを繰り返していくうちにあの例えば、えー、プチ整形である程度自分の理想とする姿をできるだけその状態維持したいと。
Here's one of the misconceptions about plastic surgery is that it's permanent. Uh, nothing in life is permanent, right? So there will be changes that occur even if you, you know, get a, a cosmetic change. So there's a difference between having something be permanent and that you can't easily reverse it back versus that the effect that you get from the plastic surgery is just going to continue to last in that same exact way and look the same exact way and be in that same exact form for your whole life. I mean, that's just not the case. So there will be some changes related to aging. There will be a reduction of the effect of that plastic surgery over time, typically. People who think, oh, well, now I'm going to get plastic surgery to have a kind of a permanent look. They have to think that most likely they're going to want some additional, you know, tweak, revision later on as well. で、そして自分のこう思っているリソーナスナタというのをもう定着させて、そこから元に戻らないようにするというふうなプロセスが考えられます。More than 90% of teenage girls in Japan contemplate plastic surgery, according to a study in 2021. Professor Tomohiro Suzuki is an expert on self-perception and has released various studies on the topic. 子供たちに美容整形をさせる親の心理を説明していただけますでしょうか。させようと親としてみれば、あの子供のためというふうな思いもあるのかもしれませんが、で、そうすると、その曖昧なまま成長を受けて、しかしその後成長していった時に、これはもともと自分がやりたいものではなかったんじゃないかと思った時には、やは
ここの病院初めてなんであの全部振り込みダメって言われました逆に手術後の痛みって心配してますあえっと麻酔の麻酔など本当に最悪ですよあのこんなに苦しんだら死んだ方がいいってやべえ超使えよ6時まで飲んじゃった全然起きなかった Yeah, I mean, drinking till six in the morning the day of your surgery is not a good idea. Alcohol can thin the blood and that can impact the、um, surgery itself and the results too. I was a little bit of 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 なんとなく顔を上に上げて堂々と歩ける感じがするという私の体ね2500万ひっついてるんでそれが2500万円分自信になってついてるような感覚ではあるのかなと思います。可愛くなったらどうする？<笑>ねえ。後ほどです。はい。では。女はやっぱり顔を出す。顔。中身はもう何でもいいです。顔が可愛ければ、多少性格悪くても、バカでも許してもらえる世界なんで。男は中身とか経済力とか求められちゃうじゃないですか。だから、男の子の方が頑張らないといけないのかなって思いますね。顔変えられるし、性格とか整形できないし。She's saying here that for women it's all about their looks starting at you know, a very young age. And I think while for men and women, you know, looks do matter in society and, and in how we're perceived, I think there's a lot more to the individual. And、uh, a great personality can definitely trump looks that maybe don't fall into some sort of classic standard beauty category. So I think her logic here is flawed. っていう考えは多分なかったと思います。整形はもう努力だと思うので。私はもう整形はもう。多分人生の一部だと思います。もう女、女の子は。あの娘さんに他に今どういう整形を考えてほしいと思います。ええー、でも。任せますけど、基本的には。やっぱ鼻は。やってほしいかな。<笑>胸とかは胸もそうですね。She's just like naming all these additional surgeries that she wants her kid to undergo. I mean, this is just ridiculous. まあまだ正常段階なんでどこまで大きくなるかわかんないんですけど、もしそれで小さくて悩んでるとしたら、もう全然背中を押しますね。I don't know. I, I feel like parents pushing their kids into plastic surgery is, is disturbing. Whether you know, the, the kid is nine or the kid is 18, 25, 35, 35, I've seen it at all. I've seen it at not age nine. We don't do surgery on minors, but I've seen people come in with their parents at like age 25, and you could tell that the parents want the surgery more for the kid than the kid wants surgery for the kid or for the young adult. And I think that's always a troubling sign, and I avoid doing surgery on patients like that. So that Uh, that comes up,、uh, unfortunately. Nonoka invited us to visit her again after her surgery. She covered her whole procedure herself for her social media channels and wanted us to see the reality of plastic surgery. あの最新のトレンドに追いつくのに疲れたりはしますえー、と正直すごく疲れます。うん疲れるけど人生って一度じゃないですかやっぱり生きてるうちはあの綺麗でいたいですしチヤホヤされたいですし、まあ、女としてモテたいですし
褒められたいっていう気持ちの方が大きいので面倒くさいことやろうって思いますもう生涯この人だけでいいやって人ができてなおかつインフルエンサー的な動きをしてなければもう整形ってする必要ないじゃないですかその時が来たらやめます So she's doing plastic surgery while she's an influencer.、Um, and then I guess she'll stop. I mean, that's what's one way to do it. But yeah, I mean, I think what I've noticed is that a lot of times people who want to get a lot of plastic surgery、um, usually have people in their lives that are sort of enabling it as opposed to telling them, hey, you don't need any of this. We're going to accept you the way that you are. You know, they're not always being told that. And they don't have someone in their life who can tell them that, unfortunately. And then that leads to them getting more and more of these procedures that ultimately, again, leads to more. More and more problems in their life. So, you know, this was a sobering video,、uh, especially on the coverage of young kids that are getting plastic surgery in Japan. I think that this should stop. Let us know, as always, what you think in the comments below. And yeah, I mean, I'm glad Vice covered this topic. It's something that I wasn't too familiar with. I didn't realize that kids were getting plastic surgery and that the parents were the ones encouraging them to get this work done. And that is troubling to me. All right, see you next time. Next time.